Hi and welcome to the Awakening in Energy. I'm Skeed. Today we are going to be using this quantum healing energy, this universal life force energy, vital life force energy, whatever you want to call it, to help us activate our pineal glands. We don't need to believe everything about calcification. If you do, go and research the science on it. It's not quite what people think it is. Um, I've talk, talked about that in other videos. Anyway, let's get on with this. Let's start activating that pineal gland. So here we go. Let's activate that prana first. Connect to the energy. Now today, the way we're going to activate that pineal gland is actually through the use of, not the pranic level of energy, we're going to use the Shiva, sorry, the Shakti, not the Shiva. Today we're going to be using that Shakti level of energy. But right now, as you're connecting to this energy, to be able to activate our pineal gland, open our third eye, just bring your attention to the center of your head. You don't know where that is. You locate the top of your ears between your eyebrows and then that little ridge on the back of your skull, right at the back here. You form a cross between them. And where they meet, that's basically where your pineal gland is. And you're going to take this pranic energy, you're going to connect it with your energy bodies. You're going to draw just the pranic energy right now. You're going to draw it in to the pineal gland area, to that third eye area, and open up the third eye. That's it. Just concentrating on that area. Feel that area. Pay attention to it. Now we're going to bring up. Shakti energy. I bring it up my spine and it hits my pineal. Through resonance, it can help activate yours. Two protons resonating together. And if you need a bit more of a push, what you can do now is look up towards the, uh, the center of your forehead. Raise your eyes, both look slightly crossing, look at it at that point. That can also help us bring that energy into the attention of the pineal gland. Looking up. Focus all your attention now on this area, the pineal area. And the other end, the third eye. It's stimulated now. It's the stimulation. I'm going to add in the way Shiva energy bring it down. Oh, I can certainly feel it now. Oh, can you feel it? If you do feel it at the end of the session, remember. leave a comment about the reaction in the comments below not now just focus all your attention on the air activating your third eye awakening oh, pineal gland A light bulb, brilliant light goes on if your eyes are closed and all you can see is light. And the light's gone on in your head, or lights come on sort of around your head like a halo. Well, it is a halo, it's not like a halo. That is your pineal gland activating, and the crystals literally in your pineal gland 
moving together, producing chemicals and hormones, which on an energetic level will stimulate a light in your brain. It's not just energy, it's literally physical to what we're doing. There's the mystical side of it, but there's the physical side of this too. It is those crystals in your pineal gland. Create the serotonin and the melatonin and the oxytocin and the DMT. It's literally your body creating them. It's your pineal gland, the crystals in the pineal gland activating and working together. Whether it's to relax with serotonin, whether it's to sleep with melatonin. And this is why when they say your pineal gland's calcified, it's like, oh yeah, but I fall asleep, so it produces a melatonin and therefore it's working. Hmm. But never mind that now. Just concentrate on the area. If you start to have visions or even sort of hallucinations, well, that's telling you it's the DMT level you've reached. You don't need to take plant medicines or anything all in you. If you feel sensations of love and awe and amazement, that's the level of oxytocin. If you feel relaxed and drowsy, that would be the level of melatonin. And if you just feel chilled and cool and calm, that would be the serotonin. Just different levels being reached, going from the lowest serotonin to the highest, the DMT. Just keep concentrating as I'm talking, as I'm sending you the energy, focus all the energy on this area. It doesn't have to be complicated. Brands and psychologies and philosophies can complicate these techniques greatly. They can be challenging and you waste 30 years to try and do this. Just need a bit of energy, a bit of a push, a bit of intention, but it really can be this quick. Oh. If you're looking at the screen, you don't need to, if your eyes are closed, keep them closed, you can watch this again. You see I'm moving around, you can feel you can hear the stresses and strains in my voice. This is energy is activating on me too. Because it works through resonance, so the more I can feel it, the more I can send it, and the more you can feel it. visions like fractal art and stuff that is the DMT being activated you can take it and go on a trip you can activate this in many ways kundalini yoga kriya yoga breath work and energy work like this now oh. can learn to do this by yourself. There are pumps and there are systems you need to activate in your body and keep them going like I'm doing. You can learn this. If you're interested in learning this, contact me through my webpage. Focus, keep focusing your attention, sending all that energy to the center of your head, activating your body. You may find today or over the next few days, you may find you have some very active dreams when you sleep because you're stimulating your pineal, of course. And if you set your intention before you go to sleep, 
going to remember my dreams, I'm going to control my dreams, I'm going to remember my dreams, I'm going to control my dreams 30 times as you're falling asleep. You can actually turn those dreams. It does take a little practice and you do need to do it every night, saying that, repeating it to yourself. But you can actually turn regular dreams into lucid dreams. And that is really good fun. When you're consciously aware of your dreams, you realize you're dreaming, you can start to control them and participate in them. Oh, that's it. And to keep this session slightly short, because we don't want to send everybody into a super mega DMT high. We're just trying to activate the pineal. Of course, if you want to do that responsibly, and you know what you're doing. And all you have to do is put this video on a loop by right clicking that play button or hitting the settings if you're on your phone and just loop this video and just keep going with it and playing with it. But be responsible, act responsibly when doing this. Know what it means. Of course, it's much safer than taking plant medicine because you can stop virtually at will. If you go too high, you can take yourself off into a few hours or a few days of trance. So be warned. But that's not easy to do. It's far more likely that when you want to stop, you just want to stop. You ground yourself with a cold shower. You know the way. Breaking that connection now. You feel the break of connection. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm still a little floaty. <laughs> After stimulating my pineal too. So I'm gonna leave you to float. And remember to subscribe. Click that bell notifications icon. Click the like button. If you've enjoyed this experience, share it in the comments below. Share it with friends as well, this video, so they can experience this too. Enjoy this. If you wish to repeat it, you can as many times as you want. Here, I'm going to leave you. Namaste.